When you're building analytical solutions at scale in the cloud with Azure Data Factory, a very interesting solution to taking column values and turning those into rows is by using the unpivot transformation that comes in data flows. Let me walk you through an example. So my source is a very simple example, but I have the CSV data file, my source file of movies. So movies has movie titles, release year, genres, ratings associated with movies. So I have this as my source. Now what I'm doing with this is I'm aggregating this data. Let me show you my aggregation. First of all, I'm grouping by year so that I can get some average ratings across genres per year. I'm creating separate aggregates based upon the primary type of genre. Genres within this data set, I'll show you the data here, is a pipe delimited multi-value field. So you see action, pipe adventure, pipe fantasy, pipe sci-fi for this example. So what I'm doing here is somewhat simplifying for this example. I only chose three different genres, comedy, drama, and action. And I wanted to get the primary genre from each of those movies. So I'm just splitting on lowercase version of a genre on the pipe and taking just the first occurrence. So just the first occurrence of the pipe, which is the going to be the primary genre. So I'm using splits, which gives me an array back. And I can say the first element if that equals comedy. Then I'm going to average the rating. So I use average if equals comedy, use rating as my average field. So the rating is an integer. And then I'm rounding that with my precision of two using just one number as the primary rating. So that will give me output that looks like this, where I have averages of 4.3, 4.0, 5.1, and so on. That looks right. Some of these uh, movies, especially older ones, don't seem to have, uh, there are certain uh, categories that the, there's pretty much nothing else listed in that area. So no uh, uh, dramas here for this year, no action movies in the older uh, movies as well. But this looks right. Now, when I have my data shaped like this, one thing I might want to do is I might want to say I, I need each of these types of um, movies, I need each of these genres to be a separate row instead of in a column. So what I have here now is a single row per year. 1953, 4.3 for comedy, 5.7 for drama, 4.6 for action. So you can unpivot, you can take those columns and make those row values. And so what you do is you add an unpivot transformation, click on plus, and unpivot you'll find under schema modifiers because we are modifying the shape of your data. So in the unpivot transformation, what you'll do is uh, go through these three different steps. The first one is what is your grouping that you're using that you want to ungroup the values? Essentially, this is going to be aggregation of data. And so I'm aggregated by year. So I'm saying ungroup by year because I want to have a row per year per genre. My unpivot key is going to be that value. So that um, comedy, drama, action, I want to have a separate row now for each one of those. So I'm saying call that average underscore genre and it's, go, it's a string value because it's the label and I'm saying pick the names as values. If I wanted just specific values I could hand enter those by clicking enter values I can enter them one by one but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to have it dynamically create them. So this is a dynamic creation of a schema. Now what I'm seeing here is the arrangement is going to be that I want to take each of those values and put them next to each other or I could separate them with a lateral arrangement. Uh, that's all just a preference or perhaps your output report needs to be a certain way. I'm going to use the normal and I'm not going to include any nulls. I want to take out all those nulls so I don't have null values because now I'm taking those um, columns and putting those onto rows. The last thing you want to do is you want to say is what is the value that you're going to represent in this unpivoting. So I'm using the average rating and that is of type double. So that's it. Now when we go to the preview of this data, you see that each row now, so each year has a row for each of those genres. So there's the three different aggregations I'd created, comedy, drama, and action. And there is the average rating 4.3, 4.7, 4.6. This is the new column that I created. I said call each of these unpivots as average genre and keep the average rating next to it. So now you can see that. So now what you can do, let me actually add one more um, transformation here to kind of give this a little bit more clarity to you because this is analytics. You might, you might want to do some sorting on this. And so let's go ahead and sort by year so we can see the years a little bit clearer. Let's just change this to descending so I can see the more recent um, movies first and refresh this. And I'm, going to, I'm in full screen so I can see and I can work within my preview pane much easier. And let's see what we get here. And so now I have all the years grouped together. 
based on those three types of movies and the ratings for this. So that's how you can use Unpivot to take your columns and turn those into rows.